next guest specializes in writing copy. And let me tell you, that's not easy. I, I tried to do that a while back, and you really got to have your head on straight to have really good copy. And I mean, it's crappy copy, but then it's really good copy. And creating marketing campaigns that gets people to take action. She has mastered psych- psychological and hypnotic techniques designed to persuade your target market to become your customers. Whether it's online or offline, you need our next guest. You need her. So please welcome, without further ado, Ms. Michelle Pariza Wachek in the building. Hey, Michelle, welcome. Hey, you did you did pretty well with my name, but you could just refer to me as Michelle P W. It's Pariza Wasik, but Michelle P W is is good, so that it doesn't you don't have to quite struggle P- so much. You know what? I love it. Michelle P W is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. <laughs> welcome. That's Ms. it. That's much better. <laughs> Well, listen, thank you for dropping by. It's been a pleasure. I know you are very, very busy, but, you know, we're excited about having you uh, do this thing with us. Well, I'm excited to be here, too. I love talking about copywriting and marketing. So, hey, I'm all for it. Well, Gail, go ahead and get us started. I know you you had a couple questions you wanted to ask Michelle, so I will um, step back, and I'll get my questions in a few minutes. Oh, (laughs) Well, I just wanted to start very quickly with what copywriting is, because I think that's actually probably the the best thing, best place to start, because in case some of you are wondering if I'm going to help you protect your intellectual property today, like you want to put a copyright on your ebook or trademark something, and the answer is, unfortunately, no, um, I'm not that kind of copywriter. That's a legal thing, government thing, attorney thing. I didn't go to law school, none of that. So what I do is write is do copywriting spelled uh, C-O-P-Y-W-R-I-T-I-N-G, and that is writing promotional materials for business. And then what I really specialize in is in for direct response, both marketing and copy, which means the marketing materials actually do the selling for you. So these are the ones like uh, that you you might say like buy now, you know, or you know call now and buy, click here to buy. You know, click here to sign up. All of that stuff you see, that's actually part of the whole direct response piece of it. But you you want this because it saves you a ton of time. This is a great way to leverage your marketing and your your time and energy because you don't have to do all the sales one on one. The marketing material is doing it for you, and you don't have to pay them or give them vacation or any of that. They just you just send them on their way, and they do the work 24 seven, and they never complain. So how cool is that? Well, it's very cool when you don't have to pay them. That's the best kind of cool. (laughs) Exactly. And no complaining, no listening to the, like, a divorce that they're going through. None of that. They're all all pretty good. (laughs) Well, as it stands, you did ask my question, and uh, you must have read my mind, or either that or I'm a great host. I I don't know. I don't know what kind of do. I'm sure you're a great horse. Uh, Oh, oh. sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) <laughs> well, I do have a follow-up to that, um, and you, you, you touched on it a, a bit, but why is having good copyright important? I want, I want people to understand this um, because so many people miss the mark on that, whether it's on the website or they're sending out advertisements. They, they kind of half do it and don't really sit down and make it make sense. Why is it important to get it right? Well, because if you, if you don't get it right, you're just going to be working a lot harder. I mean, that's the short answer. Um, you know, it's – it, you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go out and do all the all the selling yourself. So you're going to have to uh, figure out a way to get leads. You're going to have to figure out a way to uh, sell those leads, close those leads. So this is this is you know a significant amount of work. I mean, if you're if you have your own business and if you have you know it's either yourself or a small staff, you know this is this is a lot to not only worry about get, bringing the the you know doing all the marketing getting the leads and the sales in the door but then you have to also do the service delivery which means you have to actually provide the product or the service so this can be quite daunting and very difficult to grow so if you so so if you don't do it right nothing happens i mean that's really you know that's the answer you know you're just you're just going to be frustrated because you're going to have a website that isn't doing any work and you're going to say to yourself well i've spent all this money on this website and it isn't do it you know it's not doing anything for me and the reason why it's not doing anything for you is because you haven't designed it to do something you're not using direct response um techniques and strategies so it's it's just sitting there so um but if you do do it then 
now you, your website will actually be bringing you leads and making you money. So you're at, you know making sales and doing all of it. So now your job gets a lot easier. So you can just really focus on closing, you know, doing a small amount of closing, like people might have a few questions for you versus you doing everything. And you and and then you can focus on service delivery and also just growing your business as well. Cool. Now, uh, Michelle, you talk about transforming your business. Now, what does that process look like? If you, if you, um, if you actually are using like some of these direct response copywriting and marketing methods, um, what's happening is is you. I don't you do have to focus on marketing. I'm not saying that that goes away necessarily, but but your focus will change. So you can focus on um instead of just like oh oh no, I have no leads or I have no clients today. Um and then you have to like get on the phone or hustle up some some work um or some sales. Uh, and I was a freelance copywriter, by the way, for a long time, and I never used these methods for my own business. So I, so you know, do as I say, not as I do. But I've changed since then. But so I, you know, I speak from experience. Uh, you know, the if you don't use this, you have a t- you can create a terrible feast famine model for your business, because what happens is you is you do the marketing when you're when you're slow. You get on the phone, you start doing, you start calling up, you start drumming up business, you attend all these networking events, and you know you work and work. And work, and then the and then the projects come in because that's just the way it happens. So now the projects come in, and now you stop marketing because you're busy doing the work. Well, that's fine, but after a while, those projects dry up, and you're back in the same situation. So if you actually use these techniques and and grow your business that way, now you have you can you can create an actual steady cash flow, um, so that you can so you have money that you can expect each month. So your cash flow evens out, so you're not stressed constantly. You might be stressed for other things, but you're not stressed about uh, about that, about the feast and famine part of it. And you can actually work, spend your time now on other things like ramping your business up, uh, you know, maybe expanding your business. Um, so now you now every your 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 um, focus shifts from just get that next client in the door versus okay so now I've got a steady stream of clients and uh, I know that you know I can I now have a, a list that I can market to when I need to get more so I can it frees me up to to look at other things like how can I make my business even better 